Well, great day, everyone. We're out here in the uh, pasture, and it's a Lowry uh, day. We've had some rain, a lot of rain. It's wet, kind of uh, foggy, and I was going to talk to you. The title of this message is Nothing uh, Like New. We uh, starting to have a new calf crop uh, here on the farm. You can kind of get away with that here in Alabama. Uh, starting in January on down to the spring. It's still winter, but we've been having some mild, uh, milder weather. And had a cow that uh, had a uh, had a calf, and uh, she's like most folks. Uh, I was going to talk about the calf, you know, the title being nothing like new, but she's like a lot of people, boy. Uh, you know, we got out here to film, and it just didn't, you know, that was a little bit new to her. Uh, her and she's protecting that calf so she's headed off in that direction I mean at a brisk walk took the calf with her so I told John the cameraman I said well we'll just have to do we got a couple of that little red one there is a new one the fall calf and then a spring calf but uh you know uh we either embrace the new celebrate the new or or uh you know we're threatened by it like that cow she took off she'll come back uh after a while after she feels like things are more back to her liking uh you know uh i believe this that uh god is a god of new and uh, the bible says his mercies are new every morning he's constantly bringing uh new things good things better things greater things god things the bible says if anybody is in christ uh, he is a new creation all uh, together behold old things have passed away and all things are become new we have constant reminders in our life of the freshness the newness the resets uh, uh, of God and uh, again sometimes we're threatened by new we don't like new we say you know the old is better well but new comes whether we're ready or whether uh, or whether uh, we're not perhaps you're facing some new challenges some new changes uh, that, that make you feel a little uneasy you know maybe a little uncomfortable and like that like that cow you just gonna take you and yours and head off to parts so uh, you know uh, unknown at least out of the proximity of uh, of the uh, threat of change the threat of something new now we're really you know uh, no threat to her. she knows that she's uh, calm as a kitten most of the time when it's just uh, giving them some hay we put out two rolls of hay here give them some water but with that new baby uh, things are a little uh, different uh, for her and uh, it might be that same uh, that same way uh, uh, with you there's certain things you're comfortable with and when new comes change comes uh, you know you don't em, uh, embrace it readily but like i said you'll get used to it she'll get used to it we get used to uh, change because change is constant uh, and with god all things are new behold the old things are passed away and all things are made new his mercy's new every morning maybe you have uh, maybe you don't like change or you have trouble with uh, change but god is a god of change and life is constant in this it's always always changing and we make the most of it we'll get used to it especially god things you know they're good changes so i want to pray for you today if you're maybe feeling a little uneasy over this new year and the new challenges the new changes that you're uh, facing but i want to encourage you all is well god knows exactly what he's doing and uh, it'll all work out uh, for good for you because you're called according to his purpose you love him he loves you and you know he has your highest and best in mind so let me pray father in the name of jesus there really is nothing else uh, like new we thank you that we're constantly reminded uh here at the uh, turning of the corner uh, of uh uh, the winter time we thank you for that season it's a season where you are purposeful and do specific things but we thank you that the spring uh, brings a new life awakens uh, new things and we just thank you that you set aside spring in the natural order of things to bring forth uh, the new help us uh, to 
uh, stay on the upside, on the positive side of challenge and change, the new things that you're bringing to pass. Uh, as your scripture says, don't earnestly remember the old things and cling tightly to them, but uh, perceive the new thing that you're doing. We thank you for it. We trust you, and we're glad and grateful uh, for the changes uh, that will come knowing this, that you want only the best, only the highest, only the greatest good uh, in your purpose and your plan for our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope that you will be encouraged uh, this uh, time of year. <laughs> I hope you realize there isn't nothing like the new. You know, uh, even if it, it makes you uncomfortable, uneasy at first, you know, give it some time, give it a while. Uh, it'll come back around and you'll get used to it And uh, when it's from God and it will be good. I want you to remember this, uh, it is so very simple. Just put your trust in God. And remember this, He loves you and so do we.